another sunny Saturday in Northeast Pennsylvania. Beautiful. And we're working in the barn. Uh, so I'm going to just catch up. I, I've been doing a lot of thinking. And if you watch any of my videos, I think more than I do sometimes trying to figure things out since I'm not uh, in the trade all the time. Anyways, we had some of our posts here uh, that have rotted out because there is no gutters on the outside of this side of the barn. And over time, it's been a long time. I don't know how many years because it was here before we can move to the property, but the rain has come off there and washed away. And you can see that it's exposed. And because it's ex exposed, it has gotten moisture, air, wet, dry, snow, everything. And so this side of the barn is right at the other side of the barn is perfectly fine because they're totally covered. So, uh, so we're replacing these things. So what I've done is I have dug down, these posts went straight down in 52 inches. They were, they were not in concrete. They were not sitting on concrete. They were just down into the dirt below the frost line here. I have dug that out. I have pulled the post out. I'll show you what was there. It's actually kind of scary. Um, this was the post. That was the bottom. This was where I cut off. But look at the rot. The whole outside of the post was gone, just shredded. Um, so we dug down. And what I did over here is uh, I cut above the, the, the rot a couple inches. And that ended up having me right there at the top of that outside plate. That plate is not rotten, believe it or not. So what I did now is I got these, uh, I can't remember what they're called, post mounts or whatever, but they have the space and they have the uh, anchor bolt um, there. And I put that onto the post. I've dug down, I've got my sonda tube down there. I got a bar or rebar down on the ground to keep the uh, bottom from shifting around on me. And then what I did was, if you look at my sonda tube, I notched it out. So when I pour some concrete in there, I'm going to lift that tube up. That notch will hit the bottom of that outside plate, and that will be flat against this to make my form kind of. So and I'll fill the concrete all the way up to the top, which will be um, just above the very bottom of that plate there. So that'll be resting on the concrete, that whole thing. Um, and that'll leave a gap there so no moisture gets in there, whatever. And we're going to pour that up. I uh, was going to brace up my roof because I'm like, boy, I'm cutting out this post. This is a support thing. My roof is not clear span from end to end. I've got the higher roof line up there. So all I've got is this roof here, which is about 15 feet, um, resting on the interior posts and resting on the exterior posts. I was looking and a lot of these purlins that are on there did not seem right on there. They were straight across. So I was gonna support it right underneath that thing to try to hold this thing up. And uh, I'm looking at it, I'm like, boy, I think it'll hold itself. So I actually cut that out with a chainsaw and it didn't pinch the blade, didn't do anything, went right through. So that means that there's pretty much um, no pressure right now, downward pressure on that, um, which is good. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna mix some concrete, doing an old style wheelbarrow. And uh, I'm seeing, this is my test one, see how it goes. There's 10 of them along the side here that, this was the worst one. Um, the other 10 I'm gonna to wanna to replace. If uh, this goes well, I'll probably just buy a cement mixer. I sell them for 200 bucks. Save a whole lot of back breaking work. But uh, anyways, that's where we are. And uh, let me pour and I'll catch up. Well, it's day after uh, the pour, let everything cure up. Started filling a little dirt down there. So uh, what I ended up doing is I put a full bag down the bottom of the hole, put the sauna tube was there actually, put some in the middle and then filled that tube. That's a 48 inch tall, 10 inch diameter sauna tube, filled it all the way up to the bottom. I used four and a half bags of the uh, 80 pound uh, quickcrete uh, mix, high strength. Um, that's what I used for in there, made for using columns. And uh, two things I learned that will be different when I do all the rest. This is my first one, my learning post. It was the most rotten one. So I started there. And uh, one is this thing here, when I cut it to notch out for this, I made, I cut it, I sliced it on the outside and then bent that in. That gave me a little bend inside that I actually put, you can see the screw head there, to hold the tube up. Because remember, I had this off of the ground a little bit because I wanted to have that kind of a mushroom on the, underneath it. That helped me stabilize it. And then once I got a little concrete poured down there, I could get it level and then we were good to go. So that was really easy. And those lips or wings, whatever you want to call them that I bent in, helped keep the concrete in from leaking out any kind of a gap here. Um, you could see a little bit of a fail. Learn something important here. I had 
mounded the concrete up to the top of the tube and went up to the top of this silver thing, knowing that it would settle in a little bit. It settled in a lot further than I thought. First time ever doing this. And you can see now the gap underneath my thing. So this whole post is sitting <laughs> on, on that thing and it's not even, there's a, there's a, that anchor bolt is down in there, but that's about it. So that is a fail. The concrete shrunk a little bit and I have that to deal with. So on all the rest of those posts, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking this tube and I'm going to be raising this up higher. I should have raised this up higher instead of leaving it here and going to the top. It left me no room and I'll go up higher and then I'll mount my concrete up a little bit higher, knowing that it's going to uh, drop down. Let's see if it's a 48 inch tube that's settled probably about three quarters of an inch right there of settle. Cause like I said, it was up here and it settled down to where you see it now. So that was a fail. So good learning lesson. And, uh, anyways, short of that though, everything else went as planned. I'm going to fill it in and get busy on the rest. Hope those, hope this helps you learn what, uh, what to do and what not to do. So <laughs> good luck.